Hi everyone, it's me. As you can see from the title, you already know that I'm going to try the, what is it called? Daisy Keach Quarantine Bubble Butt Workout. So I'm sure you have seen this everywhere on YouTube because I have. So what this challenge is, people just do this bubble butt workout every single day. I've seen people do it for a week, I've seen people do it for a month, and then you just like see your progress by the end of it. To be completely honest, I have not watched a single video from Daisy Keach before. I had no idea who she was until I heard of this bubble butt workout. So we're trying new things and I am excited. <laughs> As you guys all know, I hate bougie. Specifically, I hate squats and I don't think this one has any squats in it. So I think we might be safe here. It looks like a roughly 12 minute workout that you do every single day. I'm going to try it for one week and see our results at the end of the week. Just a disclaimer, I just want to put this here. I don't work out for physical appearance purposes. I don't have like physical appearance goals of like growing a booty or any of that sort of thing. I just work out to stay healthy and active, but I know we all have our own different goals and that is 100% okay. I think everyone should do what works best for them. So although my goal isn't really to like grow my booty at all, I will be tracking my progress for this week and taking before and after photos just to show you guys because that's what I do on this channel. I show you guys what workouts work and what workouts don't. So without further ado, let's see what I look like right now. <laughs> so this is me right now. I'm pretty comfortable in my own skin right now. I know I don't have like an overly large booty, but like it's just not a concern of mine. I just measured myself and at like the widest part of my booty right now, I am 33 inches. So let's get started and we'll see where we end up at the end of the week. You're gonna push all the way up and you're gonna squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Then go up and then do that 15 times. That was pretty hard. For my like intensity rating, I'm gonna give it a 9.5. It was really, really hard, but it was doable. Like I got through it. For fun factor, I'm gonna give it a seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's just personal preference definitely because I just like I don't like working booty and it gets me like bored Like just like lying there and doing booty stuff. I get bored doing it nothing against her personally or her specific workout It's just I don't like booty. So I've seen that some people say they do this with a resistance band I don't think I'm at that level yet. I also don't want to like burn my booty out on like the first day and then just like hate myself for the rest of the week. So to stay sustainable, I'm gonna keep doing it without a resistance band at first at least. And then maybe after a couple days, if I start feeling stronger, I'll add the band and just keep growing that way. I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing this for a week, but I will definitely keep going and I will show you guys <laughs> my progress throughout the week. It's day two, you guys. So I completely forgot to talk Talk about the structure of this workout yesterday. Apparently I was just like too shocked at the pain I was feeling down in my booty parts. She did like four different exercises I think, like one on each leg and for those first exercises she counted reps and then basically for each exercise she did 15 reps of the full movement and then 15 reps of pulses. I feel like that really, really burns you out super well. And then after the first couple of exercises, the rest were timed. So it was 30 seconds per exercise. And then for those ones, she just like burned out one cheek for like five minutes and then burned out the second cheek <laughs> for five minutes. I'm actually not feeling sore today. I thought I was going to, but I do find that my body gets sore two days after the workout. But yeah, I'm just gonna do day two now. <laughs> Um, 
I feel like somehow today that was even harder. <laughs> Why did it get harder? Um. Ugh. Surprisingly, still not sore for some reason. I feel like I should be with the pain that I feel at the end of each workout. You know when a workout like hurts more than it burns? Like it goes to the hurt first before it goes to the burn feeling? That's what this workout is like. It's actually brutal. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, just finished day four. It's still pretty like killing me at this point. I thought it was gonna get easier. It might be getting like slightly easier, but like it still hurts a lot. I still haven't been sore in the booty, which I think is a good thing because I feel like being sore would really like set me back in this challenge. Maybe I'll try it with a band soon. Maybe on day seven. I don't know. Bye. Day five is done. Still kills, but we're almost there. Just two days left. So day six is done. I think I have enough courage to try it with a band tomorrow. We shall see. <laughs> okay, we are on our last day and I will be trying it with a band today just for the finale. So this is my lightest resistance band. Let's see how it goes. That was so horrible <laughs> with the band. That was so hard, it hurt so much. And that was with a light band. Mm. If you try this challenge and you can do it with a band, you, I admire you very much. So it is the last day. I'm now going to measure my little booty, see if we have a little bit of growth after one week. So yeah, I just did my measurements and I am shocked. I'm actually surprised. At the beginning of this week, my booty was measuring at 33 inches and today it is 34 inches. So it grew an entire inch just in one week. This booty torture exercise actually worked. So yeah, if you want a quarantine bubble butt, try Daisy Keach's bubble butt challenge. As always, I've linked her workout in the description below so it'll be easy for you to find which one I did. Let me know if you try this one or if you have tried it in the past let me know if it worked for you. I hope you liked this video. Let me know by giving it a thumbs up and a comment. Also let me know if there are any other challenges you would like me to try. Subscribe, do the bell thing, and I will see you in the next one.